Welcome YouTube! Second welcome of the stream because we're playing part two, or like we're playing the second Frog Detective game now. The case of the Invisible Wizard. If you guys didn't see the first part, it was posted a little while earlier. It'll be the last VOD that I posted before this one, so go watch it. It's fun. It was fun. Um, let's get started with the next game. So this one's the Invisible Wizard. Ring. Ring, bitch. There it is. We knew it was gonna happen. Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Frog Detective speaking. Uh, why'd you hang up on me, huh? We were talking just a moment ago about a new case. The one at Warlock Woods, right? Yeah, I hung up because I got too excited about solving another mystery. That's understandable. What can you tell me about this new case? It's a doozy, Detective. Hold on to your hat. Supervisor, you know I can't wear hats. Sorry. Anyway, Warlock Woods is a fairly small town uh, up north. They don't get many visitors around there. A couple days ago, a new resident moved in. A shy kind of gal doesn't like to be a center of attention. Anyway, she sells into a new house and doesn't go outside to greet anyone. The residents of the town feel like they need to welcome her properly, so they organize a welcoming parade. Great idea. Absolutely. But someone in the town seemed to think otherwise. Last night, the parade decorations were destroyed. What? I know, right? So rude. Nobody has any leads in this case. They don't know, they don't know who done it. That's where you come in, detective. That's me. I'm the detective. I'm aware. <laughs> Warlock Woods. It's a magic town, so it's not the easiest place to get to. You'll need to take an enchanted cart to the end of the line, then travel the rest of the way on foot. Too easy. You'll need to question everybody to get to the bottom of things. Do you think you can solve the mystery? Hmm. Yep. Great. Hop to it. Haha. <laughs> oh. I forgot to mention. The new resident of the woods is special. She's invisible. Ah, that was loud. And a wizard. Invisible wizard. <laughs> cool. Don't forget to change the game. <laughs> That's actual comment. Yeah, I'll change the game. Uh, let's just do that. Done. Okay. Uh, it was me. I do a little trolling. Uh, oh, oh, it's a new hand. Uh, what's the relevance of her being invisible? Nobody knows what she looks like, so they're really excited to find out. Hence the parade and the decorations and the celebrations. They want her to be uninvisible. de invisible Uh, visible. Exactly. This is giving you and Ellie vibes. I think it is very silly. It's good. I like it. Anyway, do you have everything you need? Uh, I have my shoes, my jumper, my pants. I think I'm missing something. Your magnifying glass! Of course! It's on the table next to the door. Once you pick it up, you'll be ready to solve the mystery. Thanks, Supervisor. Good luck, Detective. Okay, here we go. She's real, she's just invisible. Sounds familiar. <laughs> Guys, I swear she's real. She just goes to another school, okay? Alright, let's keep going. I have not used this magnifying glass one bit yet. It's It has done nothing for me. Maybe it'll do something this game. We'll see. Whoa, whoa. Hey, hey there. Is this the ghost? Lobster cop? Oh, it's a different lobster. Why do you struggle with saying magnifying glass? So much no, I've been doing it as a bit now. <laughs> why are you here? Why are you at my place? What do you want? Bro, why is he running at you? I have no idea. What is the sequence, dude? I don't know. Ah, it's the famous frog detective. F famous? I'm not famous. Haha, <laughs> perhaps not, but I'm sure you will be soon. Wow, I hope so. What brings you to my office, detective? Uh, well, I was just leaving my office, actually. I worked next door, right here. Oh, I thought that was a cupboard. Nope, that's my office. I've been putting all my cleaning supplies in there. Yes, I've noticed. I'm in there working every time you do it. I even say, this is my office, and then you say, sure is, little cleaning frog. And then I say, I'm a crown sewing frog, not a cleaning frog. But usually you're gone already. Excuse my ignorance, detective, but I wasn't trying to offend. I'm a very busy boy, head full of mysteries. Sometimes I forget to be polite. If I was polite all the time, I would never have time to solve my crimes. I understand. Maybe that's why I'm not as talented as you, lobster cop. Perhaps. But detective, you must never keep- you must keep trying, never give up. I can give you some tips if you'd like. Wow, yes please. Tip number one, pay attention. You should make sure you're looking at things and paying attention to words. Yeah, quite right. Tip number two, everyone is a suspect. Even you. I'll suspect myself much more from now on. Good call. Tip number three, carry a notebook. Oh, I'm not really big on books. They're without exception factually in inaccurate. Detective, don't be foolish. A book you write yourself cannot be factually inaccurate if you're writing facts. I suppose you're right. I don't have a notebook though. Well, it's your lucky day. I have a spare notebook on my desk. You can decorate it and use it all you like. 
Wow, really? Yep, there are stickers you can use too. I bought them with all my crime solving money. Cool! I'll let you get to it, detective. Head in and get the thingy. Alright, thanks. Let's get the notebook. Gimme! Which stickers should I pick? And where should they go? Please let's decorate it, please. Alright, go for it. Pick one. Sorry, one that you guys can't see that I obviously have to put is this one. Let's put it like, let's put it here. Lobster cop ain't saw so me nothing. He's dumb as a shell without insides. No, he's so nice to us. <laughs> oh, I was talking to the game. The frog, the frog one. All right, where's the frog one? Uh, This one. You were talking to the game, but I, I don't mind you guys decorating it. Go for it. Put the lips on it. Where are the lips? Okay. Okay. Pink fish. You want the pink fish? I'll do that. Oh, can I only put three? Oh no, I can put more. Uh, the hat and the flower. Okay, let's put the flower. Ooh, nice big one. Let's see if we can move this one a little bit. Wait, can we? Oh, we can rotate it. Interesting. Cool. Okay. I also like the alligator. Alligator's cute. We can uh probably move this somewhere up here, maybe. Did I miss any? You guys wanted the hat. The hat. I'll put the hat. I think the hat will be the last one. Okay. Let's put it on our little detective. And let's put the detective here. There we go. I think that's cute. I like it. All right. What's under your camera? It was the, just the UFO. Oh, wait. Uh, There is a little bit extra stuff that you guys might not be able to see if I just go into this and turn off the webcam real quick. There you go. But I think we have enough. We don't have enough, much space for anything else. So I think we'll just keep it how it, it is. But it's cute. It's looking good. Bird, you want the bird? We'll put the bird. I'll put the bird. That'll be the last one. Sure. Fine, I guess. There we go. I'm done. Good book? Yup. That is our notebook. Let's go. Good job, everybody. Open your notebook with X. Okay. Oh, there's stuff at the back. <laughs> lobster cop. Motive. Maybe lobster cop made up the crime to give me a challenge. That's really nice of him. Also very unlikely. Needs to figure out where to put cleaning supplies. Not my office. Notes. Number one best detective. Has lots of fans. Is super cool. So many trophies. Hope it I get a trophy one day. Motive. I don't think I did it, but maybe I have a rare curse where I commit crimes in my sleep. Like Moon Knight, my favorite Marvel show. It makes me so happy. It's a very good notebook. Needs. A holiday. Haha. <laughs> Just joacking. I, <laughs> I have a jumper. I have pants. I have a magnifying glass. I have a good attitude. And then a little banana at the end. Alright. Cute. Alright, cool. Let's... Keep moving. Here we go. I had the word Marvel. I'm intrigued. No, we said fall, guys. <laughs> uh, time to solve another mystery. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I'm almost halfway done with my water already. I refilled it right before stream. Lamp bonks into lamp. If you can tell me where Dubai is, I'll forgive you for that joke. I know where Dubai is. It's to like the left of India, right? Like left down and across a, a, a river. Not a river. A water feature. <laughs> uh, excuse me. The water feature? Yeah. You know what I mean. Warlock Woods. Here we go. We're here. It's the un yeah the other side of the fa fountain exactly, starring the detective Susan. Okay, Ralph. Ooh, Ralph looking sick. Mandy, Mary, the bell of the ball, and several more characters. <laughs> That's really funny. I like that. Oh my gosh. 
This is such a funny game, man. Created by Grace and Thomas. I don't know. Was Thomas in the first created by sequence? He might have been. This is a good game. Still no mods. They have no mods, but they add like an armadillo and stuff. Maybe there'll be a moth around here on the ground or something. Welcome! Alright, let's talk to the first person. Susan! Oh my stars, it's you! It's me, the famous lobster cop. Uh, I really thought you'd be a lobster. Uh, no, I'm a frog. Yeah, why is your name Lobster Cop? I have to tell you something. I'm not Lobster Cop. Why not? I don't know how to answer that. Who are you? I'm the detective. Uh, frog detective. I see. Was Lobster Cop not available? Unfortunately not. Well, I think you'll do just fine. Thanks. I'm Susan. Hi, Susan. Hi. I'm the one that contacted the agency, which I think you'll find excludes me from being a suspect. Oh, I didn't know that was how it worked. You should know these things, detective. I'm sorry. It's okay. I think you should still question me, though, to remove all doubt. Okay. Question me all you like. About the wizard. Is Fanny here? Oh, I think <laughs> I think you meant Fanny was in chat. Okay, it's Fanny. We have Fanny now. Um, Would the lamps that make me so happy? This dialogue is incredible. This is very well written. Yeah, it's a very funny game. I like it. Do you know the wizard personally? Nobody knows her personally. Well, not here at least. Not me. Right. But I had a lot of things- I had a lot to do with the organization of the parade. And I was the one to start the investigation. You mentioned that. Is it worth bringing up again? So you were fine with her moving to the town? Absolutely. That old house has been empty for years and it's really nice someone wants to live there. It needs a lot of fixing up, but it'll look nice soon, as I, soon I think. Plus, it all, it's always exciting to have a new neighbor. Sure is! I put up a sign I made for the wizard, but it got knocked down last night. I'm feeling pretty sad about it, if I'm honest. Guys, I think that... I'm gonna be honest, I think the wizard ripped everything down. To be perfectly clear and obvious. And honest. <laughs> I think the wizard was just like, I don't want to be the center of attention. I know you're here to solve the mystery, but I just need to tell someone how I feel. I also love how it still says on my screen on the on the on one side. It's just like hype train complete at level one, 69%. <laughs> Two sub gifts and 111 bits, just so we know from the future. That's how you get to 69%. She said she's fine with it, but her eyes looks like she witnessed a mass murder. You can talk to me about it. Thank you. I'm not a professional sign maker yet, but I worked really hard on that sign. But really, I struggled to f understand why someone would knock it down. It feels so heartless, and I'm not sure who to trust. Um, new people make places better because they bring new perspectives, especially in small communities. Hopefully, it's just misunderstanding or mistake. I like to believe people are good. That being said, I'm treating everyone as a su suspect, but not me, right? Even you, especially you, especially me. Oh no, sorry, not sure why I said that. But you're not off the hook just yet. Hook. That's it! Detective, could you please find me a hook? I could hang the sign back up with it. Oh, okay. I'll do my best. Question me all you like. Okay. About last night. Where were you? I was at home needing a jumper. Really? Yeah, I picked all the colors myself and everything. Um... Oh, okay. She's a cat. Of course. Now I think of a... I saw a big van up near the entrance to Warlock Woods and didn't drive in or I would have heard it. I didn't worry about it at the time, of course. So I remember. Okay. That is everything. BRB, alright. Thank you for being here, Cheeky. Thanks for the lurk. Fake lurk. Kind of lurk. Pseudo lurk. And since she's not suspicious, this makes her much more suspicious than she realizes. Upset about the parade being destroyed, worked really hard on her sign. Saw a van near the entrance last night. Okay. It's nice that they add this stuff because, um... I mean, I could honestly just skip through the dialogue and still know exactly what happened. But some of the dialogue is very funny. Okay. What are you? This pie is here, but it seems out of place. I'll hold on to it for now. I got a pie! Look at that. I'll need that later. One lost pie. Okay. Unfortunately for you lot, I've returned. Oh no! Oh no no! What does it say? Hello, wizard! Wizard! <laughs> that's funny. That's silly. What do you got to say to me? La! What? Ooh, la la la! Hello? Hello, frog! Hello, what's your name? I'm Mary. Nice to meet you. You too. Did you like my song? Uh, yeah. I've been practicing all day and all night. Oh, are you okay? I'm tired! Hmm. Maybe you should get some sleep. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, alright. Welcome. Welcome back. It's okay. 
I do the idea of a cat character trying to do yarn craft and just being too distracted by playing with it. Yeah, that's just how ADHD brain works, isn't it? Like, if I try to work on anything, I just start messing around. Dude, we just harmonized what? Did we really? You sing very loudly. Yep, I'm very- I'm why everyone soundproofed their homes. That sounds expensive. Yeah, but that's not really my problem. I think I sound very good, even late at night. How late? I love to sing at 3 a.m. Wow, that's when my energy is the highest. That doesn't sound very healthy. My health is my business. Oh yeah, that's true. Sorry. That's okay. Um... <laughs> okay, let's keep going. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's so many words about the wizard. Oh god, Mary reminds me of the pink rhino from ACNH that I hate. Why do you hate- Why do you hate any character from New Horizons? Yes, we actually started and stopped singing at the same time and it was harmony, it was magical. Clip that, you can't clip it. Because you can't clip Trouble's real life voice, unfortunately. Dude, do you know how many times I've done something crazy with my friends and just been like, Oh my god, I wish we could clip that. <laughs> oh my god. What do you know about the wizard that moved in? Ha ha ha, yeah. Oh, sorry, I didn't actually hear you. I was asking about the wizard. Oh yeah, there's a wizard, she just moved in. Why? I'm a detective. Right, this is probably the questioning, right? Yeah. Cool, cool. Uh, so I didn't do any crimes or anything, and I have the right to remain silent. Yeah, but what do you want? Why? Why do you want to remain silent? Ha! Huh, literally never. So like, or oh, when do you want to remain silent, dude? It's so hard to read. <laughs> Singing at three a.m. Detective called. Police called. I think my stream deck just reset. Oh no! Yeah, you should back that stuff up. I just backed mine up after doing a bunch of stuff on it. My profile's gone. Oh my god, that actually sucks. I, because I know, I, I put in work into my own, so I know how much that sucks. <laughs> you have a backup? Good. I, yeah, I recommend backup, like, every time you do some big changes to it. I don't, I love lots of Animal Crossing characters, but that damn Strawberry Cake Rhino, I swear. Wow. I have one Rhino, I think, if I remember correctly, in my, um, island that I love. I never want him to leave. I gotta figure out, I gotta go back and play that game at some point. So, like, I heard that Ralph was super weird about the new wizard moving in. Also, I heard that Mandy was in a bad mood the night the parade was destroyed. And I heard that Naughty, like, attacked the wizard once. And that's all, actually. Does this make me a snitch? I think so. Rats. Oh, boy, I love questions. All right, about last night. So, at 3 a.m., we get the police calling me. That's because my dad's a cop and also a freaking late sleeper. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's funny. What were you doing when the parade was destroyed? Oh, boy, yeah. It sucks that the parade was destroyed. Oh, we're doing questioning. What was I doing? Not much. Just seeing outside. You were outside when the parade was destroyed? Yeah. Do you see anything? Yeah. What did you see? Detective, have you heard of extortion? Yes. That's great news, is it? Detective, I would like to extort you. I don't think that's legal. I'm above the law. Oh. Why are you extorting me? <laughs> I would like five money for a train ticket. I don't have any money. You best get some soon. What do you need a train ticket for? I want to go to Froggy Wood and become a star. Oh, that sounds exciting. I know, right? Sorry about the extortion thing, but I don't really have any many, I don't have many other ways to get get there. I figure if you get the money for me, I can finally go and live my dreams. Allah. What will you give me in exchange? Information. What kind of information? A phone number. Who am I calling? I can't tell you that. All I can say is that they were in the vicinity when the parade was destroyed. I don't think you'll be able to solve the case without this phone number. Hence the extortion. Sorry. It's okay, we'll get we all get extorted every now and then. Yeah. Anyway, come back to me when you have my money. Oh boy, I love questions. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna extort you. Perhaps the wizard is a bigger singer than her. Needs five money. I want to check something because we're getting these achievements. Let me just make sure that there are no achievements I will accidentally miss. Um, while playing this game. Just for the sake of not having to replay after stream for no reason. You know? Um, there's two collectibles. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, okay. I just got okay. I know, I know everything I have to do, mostly. Up someone come and give one to a victor who refuses to collect them from the ground. Okay, 
there's two things that are missable that I just need to make sure to do before we end. And honestly, this game is so short, I can literally do these at any time. But since we're playing here, I thought I'd try to get all of the achievements while I'm here, you know? Um... I almost never wear shoes at home as late, but upstairs had no toilet paper. Said to go downstairs, but my house is weird, so you have to walk through my parents' room to get to the downstairs storage area. Dang, that's crazy. There's some weird house setups that I've seen, like, on TikTok and stuff. People have some crazy houses. Okay, um... A customer! Welcome to Carlos's All Things You Can Need shop. Are you Carlos? Yes, just like the name of the shop, that's me. Haha, <laughs> how cool is that? The shop has my name in it. So cool. My company also has my name in it. What's your company called? Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. What's your name, Crime? Oh, no, I'm Frog Detective. That's not really a name, though, more like a, a title. Oh, I suppose you're right. My shop actually has my name in it. Cool, I'm jealous. Thanks. Here in Warlock Woods, we all... We're all our own biggest fans. Being conceited is a social societal construct. We've rejected it. Hence why my shop is so popular. I sell portraits among other things. Oh, that's great. My office neighbor Lobster Cop has a picture of himself right above his desk. You know Lobster Cop? Yep. Holy heck. I've been a fan forever. You know he solved the mystery of the haunted island recently? Oh, uh, I don't think it was actually me that solved it. Wait, really? It was all over TV. The dance cop competition had a lobster in it. Oh, you must be thinking of Larry. You mean small Larry? No, this was a regular sized lobster. Uh, n no. Larry is a regular sized lobster. Not the Larry I know. Oh well. Agree or disagree? <laughs> okay. The night in question. I don't think that room was meant to be a bedroom, but we don't really have a big master bedroom type room. That makes sense, yeah. Like, I, sometimes people will just do their house tour on TikTok, but it's just set up and, like, they just make random rooms. Rooms that shouldn't be rooms, you know? Like, they'll have a bathroom and, like, the main hall or something. Like, I don't know, some weird shit. Like, you have to go through a bathroom to get to a room or something like that. I've seen some crazy houses. It's, it's so, it's, I don't get how you, oh, it's such a waste of resources and stuff. My shop doesn't close, it's 24 hours. What if someone needs a portrait of themselves at 4 a.m.? You're open all the time? Sure am. Of course, I sleep and eat and look after myself. My customers simply wake me up if they need to buy anything. Where do you sleep? I sleep standing up. Years of training. I'm the most committed shopkeeper in all of Warlock Woods. It's strange, but it's also pretty darn old, so it makes sense. It does make Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, wow, that's a big yawn. That was a big one. I'm not even tired. I just, I feel like... Because my sleep schedule is so messed up, I'm just always yawning. Also, the only shopkeeper in all of like Woods. Do you ever take breaks? Hmm, sometimes, but I really like it here in my shop. It's where I feel most at home. The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. My backup did not work and has broken the app. I'm gonna start from scratch. Oh no! What the heck? That's so annoying. When was the backup from? Has it been a while? Like, there have been too many updates in between or something? The extreme shopkeeper lifestyle isn't for everyone, but I take so much joy from my work. Me too. Although I must request that you look after yourself and close the shop if you need a break. Okay, I promise. Anyway. Do you see anything? Nothing interesting. Why? Uh, the crime. Huh? Uh, I think I need to question you a bit more. Excuse me. Go for it. What would you like to know? The wizard. It just broke the app. Uh, plugins wouldn't install. Oh. Weird. Oh, I think you need to install the plugin first. Cause the backup just keeps. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it just keeps, uh, a save of every button that you had set up. So you, if the entire app is completely reset, you need install all the plugins that you need. Then you put the backup in, and then it should work. I think. What do you know about the great, the new wizard that just moved in? Uh, who? The invisible wizard that moved in literally next door. Wait, really? Someone moved in? Yeah. That place has been empty for ages. I gotta say hi. Well, the parade was meant to be for saying hi. Parade. The parade that everyone's been prepping for? Wow, how nice, can't wait. You destroyed last night. What? This conversation is a roller coaster of information. I have literally no idea what's happening. You weren't involved at all? Nope. Should I have to help now? Wait, who's the parade for again? Is it for me? No, it's for the invisible wizard. She's moved in next door. Right, okay. Is this guy okay? Okay, so he needs a party hat. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. 
This guy is, does not know where he is. No, I installed the plugin and it wouldn't install. I check again and it wouldn't be installed. Oh, yeah, you might just have to hard reset the app. Or, like, hard uh, reinstall it. No, it's a busy boy. Works really hard. Okay. I deleted the app data folder. Reset the app. Dang. Can we go in? Hello, is anyone home? It sounds like somebody's inside, but I shouldn't intrude on them. I'll come back another time. Okay. Maybe Susan made up the invisible girl, or maybe he's out of the loop of most events. I think that's what it is. I think he's out of the loop. I think he's struggling because he doesn't sleep. I see a cupcake or a pie. There's another pie. I have two pies now. Two pies. Interesting. Why am I finding so many pies? Oh, hi. Sorry. I was just, uh... Anyway. <laughs> just looking through the floor. Um, blobfish. I saw a blobfish? Really? Where? I'll look at it later. Hi. Hello. Wanna hop in? A little bit, but I want a case. Oh, cool. I'm Victor. Who are you? The detective? Is that your real name? Maybe. Cool, cool. Are you here to question me and stuff? Because, like, I'm not suspicious. How do you know you're not suspicious? Suspicious. Well, I think I didn't do it. You'd think? Yeah, nobody knows anything for certain these days. So why are you here swimming? I'm visiting my friend Naughty. Oh, she's the only person I know with a hot tub. Plus, I heard there were going to be these delicious pies for the parade, so the time is perfect. Where do you live normally? Over near Pumpkinville. Nice spot. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Alright, let me ask some questions. About the wizard. When you looked at the door, they were peeking out. Okay, I'll take a look later. Um, oh, wait. At the invisible wizard's house? Maybe the invisible wizard is a blobfish, and that's why they're, like, try to be invisible. <sighs> I got a big case of the yawns today. Damn. It, every time I yawn, it gives me more energy, though. Like, I just feel my energy come back. Maybe there is no invisible wizard? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe she's just hiding. Um, I knew the previous was for her, but beyond there, I didn't know much. Okay. Okay. There's so much talking and none of it means anything. None of it means anything. Dang, Senwal hit <laughs> Shook with a snipe. Okay, so I don't get why Roth was the only one who didn't get affected. Is it because he's VIP? Yawning increases your oxygen intake, so maybe that's why you feel more energetic. Yeah, I feel like maybe because I talk so... Here's, here's my theory, right? I talk so much on stream that I'm not breathing in enough because I just talk so fast. So when I yawn, it gives me a bunch of oxygen back so that I... <laughs> I don't die, basically. Uh... Okay, I gotta ask Ali later if he's had issues with VIP. Um, because, uh, yeah. I was looking and saw y yawn and yawned. Thanks. No problem, man. I got you. Okay, there's so much unnecessarily talking that I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep going and we'll read through the, the, um, oh, we got a money. We're, uh, we'll, we'll just read through the, uh, uh, notebook later. About last night. Where were you? I was swimming. Okay. Then went inside. Okay. Now let's give him the item. Because he wanted a pie. I found it on the ground. Sorry, you may have to speak up. These hot chub ones <laughs> are very loud. I found this pie on the ground over there. Detective, I do not want to eat a ground pie. I've made a mistake. I'd say maybe even two. Two mistakes. Yes, one mistake for giving me a dirty pie, another mistake for giving me a pie. That does not belong to you. That's right, Detective. <laughs> it's one of Mandy's pies. Okay. Now I on realization that I could ban skipping dialogue. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Please! Alright. 
Hadn't Eaton could have been jealous of the parade. Yeah, so he was saying how they didn't throw him a, a parade. Maybe for the third game. Oh, God. Need something to eat. Such a rude be individual. Perhaps the only rude because of hunger, but maybe just rude in general. Doesn't live here, only visiting. I want to visit Pumpkin Island. Or Pumpkinville. I don't know how I said island. I mean, but not that mean. Okay, so I think, I think Victor is... We're going to put him as suspicious. We're going to put him as suspicious. He seemed upset that they didn't throw him another parade. They threw him one the first time, but they don't throw him one every time. Oh, they are invisible. Look. It's invisible wizard. Oops, I didn't mean to click it again. But there's someone inside. Okay, where's the blobfish now? Oh. <laughs> I forgot they just got lazy with some of the uh, characters. This is naughty, I think. Chame Chameleon. Chameleon makes sense. Blobfish was in that corner. What corner? What are you talking about? Guys, Strook is lying to me. I don't know if it's... It's not this house. What blobfish are you talking about, Strook? Behind Carlos's shop? What are you talking about? I can't even go behind Carlos's shop. Guys, I'm getting lied to just blatantly. That's crazy. <laughs> it's messed up. Um, alright, let's just talk to this guy. I swear I saw it. Nah, you're lying. Hello, little frog. I'm Ralph. Why are you yelling? I'm just making sure you can hear me. I can hear you. You don't have to yell. You're very small. Might be difficult for you to hear. I'm small, but I'm also very close to you. Being small isn't the same as being far away. Are you sure? You can hear me at this volume? Yeah, weird. I'm a detective. I'm here to solve the mystery. Yes. Go, 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 go. Okay. About the wizard. I think I did see something behind one of the buildings genuinely. Guys, I think I've got two people in chat lying to me. That's crazy. How do you feel about the wizard moving in? It's nothing against the wizard. Uh, I've been living with my friend Carlos for a while now and her space is big, but I would really like my own home. Oh, it's been eyeing- I've been off that old house for ages. I thought maybe I'd move in one day, but the wizard got there first. I see. It's my fault, I guess. I shouldn't hold it against the wizard. Hmm. This house is twice as big as all the other houses. Maybe you could renovate it and turn it into two houses. You could split down the middle. Or have one house upstairs and one house downstairs, like an apartment. That's a pretty cool idea. I like Carlos and everything, but I'm a private boy. I understand. I don't have any renovation supplies, though. Okay. About your eye. I don't think this is relevant. Oh. Sometimes a boy just wants to wear an eye patch. That shouldn't make me suspicious. You put it on for fashion? Kind of. Detective, I don't get into this too much, but I watched a movie last night about pirates. I loved it. And there's another three left. Three whole movies. Can you believe it? Sequels? I've never heard of a movie having a sequel before. I know, right? Usually sequels are reserved for video games. <laughs> get it? Because it's the second game. Oh. It's extremely normal to have a video game sequel, especially for games with large audiences, like the Toad Investigation series. Yeah. Anyway, I was watching pirate movie last night. That's where I was. And for that reason, I've decided to wear an eye patch. Okay, I'll leave it at that. My thanks. Question me. Uh, nothing. Okay. I like Ralph. Ralph is cool. I don't think he's suspicious either. I think next game I will ban skipping dialogue. No! I, guys, I need you to shell snipe treble when the next game starts, please. I need you all to hit treble with a couple of shell snipes to avoid that from happening. We're gonna need about like 30 of them. <laughs> In true pirate fashion, wanted to cause a ruckus, needs building supplies, loves pirates, eye patches, cosmetic, private boy, wants to renovate, thinks I'm too small. I am not. Oh gosh. I hate just sitting here reading dialogue for too long. I just don't have the patience. Hmm. What? Huh? Who are you? The detective. Oh, damn it. <laughs> For five minutes, I can't skip dialogue. I want to lose my mind over here, boys. I hate, I hate just sitting here reading dialogue. You guys know this. You guys know that every time I, I, let me set a five minute timer. Every time I play a game, I skip dialogue so much. Timer started five minutes. Detective. Oh, I thought Lobster Cop was coming. Huh? What? 
Do you say something about Lobster Cop? No. But I heard... Can this frog read my mind? Why are you speaking like that? Like what? Like this. Whoa! Is this what telepathy is? Can you hear this frog? You're saying everything out loud. Wow, this frog is a temper. Anyway, who are you? I'm Naughty. Okay. I'm the mayor of Warlock Woods. Okay. Was it you that asked for me to come? Dude, this is like... <laughs> oh, this sucks. <laughs> I hate reading dialogue. I love I love story-based games, and I love games that are like that. But actually, reading dialogue kills me every time. I don't know. I just can't do it. I just, like, I lose my mind trying to do it. Because I don't have patience. I just want to click through the buttons. Like, everything in my thumb just wants to click the A button as much as possible and move forward and do stuff. <laughs> no. I would have asked for Lobster Cop. I really need to emphasize that I can hear you. Stop listening! Okay. Can I ask you some questions about the case? I guess so. Tell me what you want to know. About last night. You need a clicky thing? Yeah, I should really get like a fidget toy. Where's my... I know I have a... I have a fidget spinner. Let me get my fidget spinner. This will make it easier. I got it. I've had this thing for years. I, I just never remember to use it. Okay. You guys will just hear clicking in the background while I play with this thing. What can you tell me about last night? Nothing. Oh. But I can tell you about the wizard. I know basically everything there is to know about her. Dude, you're wasting the five minutes. I didn't pay for five minutes of you grabbing a fidget spinner. <laughs> That's great. First of all, she's a wizard. Uh-huh. And she is invisible. Great. And she just moved in. Yeah. And... She's a wizard. I think you mentioned that. No, I don't think I did. Um, right. Okay. <laughs> I need my navy pink one. You have a navy pink fidget spinner? I have two red ones. One is from my sister's college. One is, uh, just an, uh, unbranded one. Sorry. It's fine. Anyway. Tell me what you want to know. Uh, about the wizard. Which we already talked about. So how do you feel about the wizard coming to live here? Uh... Oh, heck, how do I answer this? Well, I'm happy she's here, but that house has been empty for ages. I didn't know she was coming, right? Nobody told me, you see. Are you the mayor? I think so. Anyway, she kind of came at a weird time of night. Hydrate. Thank you, Jazz. And I, well, I thought that she was a ghost. Oh, yeah, it was a bit messy. Oh, I tried to vacuum her up with a vacuum. I put it on the high setting. Just really went to town with the vacuum. I think I really freaked her out. And now she won't come out of the house. Um, please don't put me in jail. You're not going to jail. Jail isn't real. But you should probably apologize. Okay. Sorry, detective. I mean to the wizard. Right, yeah, yeah. That's why I was helping with the parade. To apologize. But she hasn't been out of her house. Also, the parade is ruined. I see. This makes me sound really bad. I swear, I wanted the parade to be lovely. As a mayor of the town, I booked a live band to play a song, but as you can see, the stage is gross and ruined now. The band is on their way, and I have no time to fix it. That, that is concerning. Why was your first instinct to vacuum her? No, I'm fine with that. You know, I've played Luigi's Mansion. I know how this works. <laughs> I got mine from my dad. I had it since 7th grade. Yeah, I don't know how long I've had mine. I got my second fidget spinner for my sister. This one's just an unbranded one that I literally don't remember even getting. I don't know if they just gave it away somewhere, probably at like some school event or something. But then our school banned fidget spinners. But I forgot how nice this is. Oh my god. This actually helps so much. Okay, anyway. The band is on their way and I have no time to fix it. They're a very famous band. I want to be as professional as possible. How long do we have? Less than a minute. If I only had a rug or something to use, I could cover up the mess. But the town is in disarray. I don't have time to track one down. I miss my fidget spinners. Yeah, they, they're, they're so nice. My friends have had some really cool fidget spinners that had like cool things i remember one person went to a hand dryer in our school and just spun it underneath and let it spin and spin and it got super hot that he touched it and it like burned his finger like it it was that fast that hot and that quick that it just burned his finger something i do want to check how much do you have to pay to uh oh abandoning game action is pretty expensive actually okay i like that i like that price um oh no Thank you for your concern. If you happen to find anything that would work, please let me know. we Will do. Do you have any more questions? Hmm. Tell me what you want to know. Nothing. Alright. Alright, we're done. Thank you.
Thank you. I know I can now skip actions again unless you guys do it again. <laughs> Thank God. Thank Gorsh. Um. Okay. Uh, try to vacuum up the wizard. Maybe there's some history there. Needs a rug. Thinks I can read minds. I can't. The mayor hired a, hired a cool band to play the parade. Attack the wizard. Okay. I can do it two more times just so you know. Oh, gosh. I'm glad we did not skip over her. She's funny. All of them are pretty funny. The thing is, I'm just too lazy to read everything. <laughs> I'm just too impatient. But now that I have a fidget spinner, maybe I'll read through everything. Okay, we got one more person to talk to, which is our friend over here. Mandy, you're the detective, right? I'm Mandy. Hi, Mandy. Be careful where you step, detective. There's mess everywhere. I'm used to mess. Lucky you, I'm not. My shoes are brand new. I can't get them dirty. Why don't you change shoes? Just let me read it for you in my most dramatic voices. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should do one stream where I just let people hop and call and do the readings for me. That'd be fun. Or that could be a fun Discord stream. Um, if I stream like a story game to Discord and... Uh, yeah, that could be fun. Why don't you change shoes? Detective, are you joking? I can't wear flats with this look. The proportions would be all wrong. Besides, these shoes are enchanted. Oh. I'm one of the few actual witches here in Warlock Woods. Most people here are just fans of the spooky. Which is fine and all, but it means a lot of the cleaning work will be mine to do. I never should have learned that tidying up spell. That would, that would be fun. I'm never reading stuff on stream. It would be a Discord stream. But yeah, this could be... It could be a fun idea, maybe. I can make it a whole event and stuff. I would have to find a good story game, though. I never should have learned that tidying up spell. It, sh it shouldn't take too long for me to clean up this mess, but first I need to find all my pies. What happened to your pies? Same thing that happened everywhere. Someone thought it'd be funny to knock them all over. So annoying, I spent ages making them. Ah, uh, I see. Well, do you mind if I ask you some questions? Tell me what you want to know. Okay. About your pies. Do you need help finding your pies? Yes! Detective, seriously. I seriously need help. Straight up, I can't see anything right now. These glasses are so dark, it's unreal. I'm such a dingus. This town is literally cloaked in eternal night. Why did I think sunglasses would be a good idea? They weren't a good idea. However, I don't regret it. They make me look amazing. Do you think I look amazing? Yep. Thanks, I do too. Worst pictures I've ever made in terms of practical practicality, but it brings this look to a new level. BRB once again? Okay. What about the new Coffee Talk game? Oh! That would be fun. I love Coffee Talk, and I really want- And the new game's coming in Xbox Game Pass, just like the old one. The f and the first one was amazing. The second one's gonna be great, I'm sure. Um, screw it, yeah. We'll do that one. But yeah, and anyways, I don't want to stream that one. It's a good game, but it's just- It feels more personal to me, so I don't want to stream that one. I just want to enjoy it on my own. But I don't mind doing it to Discord. You guys can fuck around and, like, read dialogue and stuff. And then I don't have to read dialogue. And then that means that my throat doesn't get super tired. <laughs> and I don't yawn constantly. I may be a dingus, but I'm a very stylish dingus. What were you talking about? My outfit. No, no, no. Before that. Pies. Right. You offered to help pick up my pies. I'm missing quite a few. If you could bring them to me, I'd be happy to clean them up all up and give you one as payment. Oh, it sounds like fun. Neat. Thanks, detective. Tell me what you want to know. About last night. I need to get auction back. I'm back. I have food. Hell yeah. I gotta eat food after the stream. I might actually just go the whole stream without, um... And then just... I might not take a break in the middle. Because these are going... These games are going by pretty fast. Where were you last night? Doing heaps of push-ups and getting ripped. Just kidding. I was on whizbay.net. Where magic happens. TM. What were you doing? Bidding on some new shoes? But you just got these ones. Yeah, but the ones I was bidding on would be super well with this blue dress I have. Wow, cool. I know. I didn't win though. Who got the shoes? Not sure. All I know is their screen name. Someone called Dizzy Wizzy 109. Sorry to hear it. How'd you feel when you lost? A bit defeated. I went for a midnight stroll to cool off, but then I saw someone in the distance. It was a pretty foggy night, so I couldn't see much, but they were carrying a large box. Couldn't see what they looked like, but they definitely weren't from here. It felt like they were waiting for someone. I didn't think too much of it and went home. Hmm. Do you hear any noise after that? No, my house is soundproof. Ever since Mary's taken up singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. Get the pie and then give it to the animal in the hot tub? Yeah, I agree. Take breaks, the food. No, I don't need to take a break, though. If I need to, I will. But I ate food right before stream, and I think with how short these games are... Like, if it was a six-hour stream, I'd take a break. But I think if it's only, like, three to four hours, it's fine. What's in the box? What's in the box? <laughs> nice. Good one, Cheeky. You get a streamer point. Ever since Mary's taking up singing, it's kind of a necessity around here. I only saw the mess in the morning. 
Interesting. Tell me what you want to know. Uh, about give, let's give some pies. Mandy, detective, I found some of your pies. Wonderful, now there's only three left to find. Okay. Let's go find three more. Okay. She's not suspicious. She's saying that it was someone from not around here, so I think they're very much pushing for it to be the hot tub person. I don't know if it will be that person, but I think it might be. Because that's the only person who's not from around here. Okay. Let's go find three pies that will give us the pie to give to that guy, and then it'll probably progress the story a bit. We also have one money. I want to see if I can buy anything from here. From the shop. We got one of the lost pies. Two more. He was also jealous that he did not get a parade. Yeah, because he got parade the, a parade the first time he showed up, when he never got one again. Oh, I don't think we can buy anything. All of these are over one money. But we have one. We'll see if we can find some more. I don't know, laying around or something. Oh, there's another one. Yay! Look at us go. We are so good at this. Okay. The blobfish is not real. And uh, so that's not going to be one that we have to worry about. Um, what else we got? There's one more around here. Anything in there? This is a pretty big house. Yeah, dude. This would be a sick apartment. Yes, they are. I saw it. I saw them. Yeah, but you're not explaining where. You were like, first they're inside the door, and then they're behind Oscar's shop. Like, you're lying. It's not real. If you want, go back and clip it. I'll watch it later. Otherwise, I don't believe you. <laughs> Where's this last pie? I said they're behind Carlos' shop. Yeah, but I looked there and there's nothing there. Uh, am I missing a... Am I? Did I skip over a pie somewhere? It's not in the center. There it is. Found it. There we go. Yeah, I like this game. It's such a chill vibe. The music's pretty nice. It's cute. I like it. Alright, here you go. Tell me what you want to know. I want to give you my my pies. Take my pies. All of them, I think so. Yep, that looks like all of them. Wow, you must have searched far and wide. I searched just general vicinity. Yeah. Wowie, thanks detective. As promised, here's one money. And give me a pie. I don't think you ever promised payment, but thank you anyway. You're welcome. Oh, I'll, I'll give you a fresh pie, too. They're delicious. I'm not very hungry. You can hold on to it if you like. Nonsense. Take one and eat it later when you're hungry. Oh, right, sure, thanks. Thank you for finding my pies. All right. We got one fresh pie that we can give to our friend. Well, the suspect. Oh, nice. Amazing baker. Let's go. I'm glad it tells us when our needs uh, have been fulfilled because um, I'm starting to forget because there's a lot of characters. Questions! All right, let's give you a fresh pie. Are you still hungry? Yes, very. It's making me really rude. For example, I think your jumper is outdated. Victor, I'm not the most fashionable frog in the world, but I like this jumper. It's my favorite. You're right. It's retro, not outdated. I'm simply very hungry. I have a pie for you from Mandy. It's not from the ground? Nope. Mandy gave me a fresh one. Seriously? Score. Yep, please enjoy it. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. I feel much less rude now. Really? Yep, you have beautiful eyes. Oh wow, thank you. It's, it's true, and I think that color jumper suits you perfectly. You're making me blush. I should give you something in return for this pie. Hmm, I have a spare party hat I'm not using. Maybe you could wear it? Alas, my head is simply too weird a shape. Well, hold on to it anyway. It might come in handy. Thanks. Alright, now we go give this to Carlos. And we'll get a little check mark here. You're still suspicious to me, but oh well. Oops, I meant to talk to you. Can you bone meal cactus in Minecraft? I don't think so. Pretty sure you can. What would you like to know? Let's give you a party hat. Carlos, I have something for you. No way. It's a party hat. 
No way! Yes way. That's epic. That's honestly the most epic thing I've heard all day. Thanks, detective. Not a problem. Incorrect, it was a problem. And you solved it. Just like a true detective. Aw, thanks. You made a fan out of me. Here, let me pay you for your work. Oh no, that's okay. Detective, I insist you take payment. One money should do it. Alright. I know we're trying to get money for for um the person, but I I one of these humans is to buy something. So, um, let's go and buy something from here. Oh, I also found this rug out back. Not sure what use it is, but I figure you're good at solving these types of puzzles. We have three monies now, so let's just buy something. Wow, we're really up close to this guy. All up in his chest. We got the rug, which is for the person on the stage, the mayor. So we'll go give her that in a sec. Oh no, I don't have a hat either. I could probably borrow one, it's fine. Am I even invited to the party? To the parade? I hope so. All right. Let's buy a photo. Well, this picture is three money. I have three money. Would you like to buy it? Yes, I would like to buy this picture with my three money. It's all yours. Got a naughty pick, yay. Hello, detective. I'm sorry to interrupt you. As you may remember, I'm Grace. I made this game with my studio Worm Club. I was tracking your progress when I noticed that you spent your money on a picture. You're really, you've really complicated things for me. See, there's only five money in the game. In order to solve the mystery, you need all five money. But you've spent three money. So now what? If I was anyone else, I'd end the game here. However, I'm very generous and kind. I'm going to give you another three money so you can solve the mystery. This comes from my own pocket, so please don't spend it on anything else that isn't relevant to the story. I'll let you get back to it, and yes, you can keep the picture. That's very cute. I love that Grace makes an appearance in all of these games. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, look at that. I love it. Can we buy anything else? Let's just check. No, we can't. <laughs> they won't let us buy anything else. That was a good scene. I love I love Grace Grace's humor of just like showing up in the middle and being like, hello. Sorry to interrupt, but what the hell are you doing? There's another freaky grasshopper. Oh, I missed it. I'll look at it later. Great news! What is it? I found you a rug. What? Holy guacamole! This is great news. Thanks for tracking it down. This should do the trick. Wow, it looks just like new. Hopefully the band won't notice the mess. I don't think they will. They're in a fish tank anyway. Why? One guess. They're fish? Bingo! Wait, do you mean to tell me you got the most famous band of all time? The Market Buddies? Yup. They're on their way. Wow, I saw them live once and I was blown away. I can't wait. I'm excited too. I can't wait for the parade to begin. I better get back to work so I can solve the mystery. Before you go, I should give you something in return. Oh, I have some building supplies. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> I like how we, we kind of did this. Oh, okay. I should probably turn up the brightness of my key, uh, webcam a little bit. Yeah, I like how we started with... um. Like, we went perfectly in the back order. We talked to everyone we needed. Now we have all the stuff we need as we go through the list. Plus one money. Oh no, that's okay. It was simply a favor. Don't be silly. You worked hard to get me this rug. I insist. Oh, thanks. I love how you have enough time to stand around and talk to the mayor, but not to clean. That would take five minutes. No, it's fine. We have a wizard who can clean for us. Remember? Long snoot. Ah, yes. Can I give her the naughty pick? Oh, I can't. I have a pic of her. Um, give me a sec. I just want to make sure we're not missing any other achievements from this. Uh, just in case. Again, it's not that big a deal to me. I can always just go back and get them real quick. But I'd prefer to just, um, finish them up, you know? While we're here. Then you, you guys can see the, uh, 100%, like, on stream. Actually, you can't, can you? No, you can. I'll be able to show you. There's actually a thing to try to give away a photo. Is this in number three? Ah, uh, yeah, I think it's in number three. Okay. Let me just make sure there's nothing else. Okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're keeping up. Got all the secret humans. If we miss one, that'll suck, but it's okay. Spider, weird spider guy. Where's the grasshopper you were talking about? I know I saw a little green speck earlier, and I just... Hmm. Must have missed it. Oh well, let's give the building supplies to Ralph. In the flowers in the shop? Oh, got you. We'll go back in a sec. Give item! Hi, Ralph! Hello, small frog. I managed to track down some building supplies. Oh, great. What exactly can you use? 
I'd love to use them if you're okay to hand them over. Of course. They did all that, but they couldn't clean up. <laughs> Excellent, thank you so much. Of course, I must pay you for this. Oh, there's no need, really. Shh, I won't hear it. Please take the money. We are officially down to five, or up to five monies. Also, I think you've earned yourself the title of Honorary Pirate. Wow, really? Me, a pirate? Yes, you have the tre treasure collecting skills of the finest pirates. For this, I must award you a special prize. Here, take this hook. Wow, look at that. What do I do with this? You can use it on your hand if you want, or you can use it for something else. I'm not your dad. Not yet. What? Sorry, I don't really know why I said that. <laughs> That's so funny. All good, enjoy the hook. That's so funny. You really did this in the perfect order? Yeah, I did. Got lucky. Heck yeah, that is so funny. <laughs> it is Zen. How do I click up on mobile? You have exclamation point mobile. Or, or yeah, if you're trying to go all the way back in time, you'd have to click the clip button and scroll back. Or you just have to do it after the VOD's posted at the end of the stream, I think. Question me all you like. Let's give the hook item real quick. I'm back. You're back. Yep. I found you a hook. On my Oh, my stars. Thank you. I can fix my sign right away. That's okay. I'd like to repay you for this hook. No, it's okay. I got it for free. Nothing is free in this world. Just kidding. Our society is really progressive and often things are actually free. As a sign of my gratitude, feel please feel free to use my house whenever you need. Uh... It's fairly simple, but beautifully, beautifully decorated at least. I have a phone too. Great, I'll be sure to use it at some point. All right, we know what to do now. Alternatively, build a time machine and go back to when it happened. That too, yeah, you can go back and do that. All right, so now we have a phone and we can call the phone number using the number we're about to get. Oops, I keep pressing X instead of A. All right, progress. Oh boy, I love questions. Uh, Give money. Hi, Mary. Hi, Detective. How's the extortion going? I think I've got your fine money. Whoa, for real? I didn't think the extortion would work so quickly. That's ex that's excellent news. I'm really good at being extorted. I'll say. Anyway, do you have the information for me? Totally. Last night, I saw the postman drop off a parcel. It was around the time the parade got destroyed. I couldn't see who he was giving it to, but it was someone here in the town. Barney's the postman's name. He's a chill dude. I don't think he'd mind if you called him up. I have his phone number. May I have it? Absolutely. You have a phone? Can you order a pizza? We should try to order stuff if we can. Or do something else. Okay, we helped Mary live her life. That's pretty cool. Alright, I think we're close to done. Everyone's checkmarked. Alright. Let's go and call this man. Everything worked out so perfectly. Can I sleep in your bed? No. Okay. You don't have a bathroom or anything? It's weird. Now you have to make a phone call? Yeah, I'm so scared. Who should I call? I don't have any friends to call. Oh, wait. Okay. That doesn't do anything. I wish you could call the supervisor. That'd be funny. Uh, mysterious number. Let's go. <sighs> well, let's get that oxygen back in us, boys. We should have a yawn counter for every time I yawn. I'm gonna write that down. I think that's kind of funny. <laughs> cause I, I yawn so often cause I talk so fast. I love that it's a four digit number, yeah. Hey, it's Barney, I have you on speaker. Hey, Barney. Hi, who am I talking to? Hmm, Lobster Cop. Oh, wow, really? No, I was tricking you. Rats, who is this, Noodle? I'm the detective. I'm calling about an incident that happened last night at Warlock Woods. I didn't do it. Do what? Whatever you're calling about. Wasn't me. Are you sure? What did I do? Last night someone destroyed a parade which was being set up for the new resident of the town, the Invisible Wizard. I was told you were in the area when it happened. The gaming chair check my evidence? It, listen, yeah, I'll check it later. I, I doubt, I think you're a liar though. <laughs> oh yeah, I was there. Didn't destroy anything if that's what you're asking. Was it, Was just delivering a parcel. Who are you delivering it to? Uh, hmm. What was her name? Oh, Lola. Huh, I don't think there's anyone in the town named called Lola. 
It must have been someone who lived- someone who lives there. The address was on the parcel. But I can't remember exactly which house it was. Sorry. Hmm. Do you remember where the parcel was self sent from? Oh yeah, I deliver a lot of parcels from them. It's from the whizbay.net headquarters. That sounds really familiar. Where have I heard that name before? Uh, I know Mandy buys a lot of stuff from there. But this wasn't for her. Do you know what was in the package? Some sort of shoe, I think? Maybe two? A pair of shoes? Do you get a good look at them? It's pretty dark. I have no recollection of seeing- of really seeing anyone. Not even a face. Huh, weird. Warlock Woods is pretty dark, but I haven't had much trouble seeing anyone before. Me, they, me neither. It wasn't much more dark than normal, either. Wow, I'm really struggling to get through this word. Uh, denial is a river in Egypt, are a year in <laughs> New Jersey. Uh, listen, uh, yeah, you're lying. Yeah, and, and you, you live in Florida. You should not be naming rivers in Egypt. I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't much more dark than normal, either. All I remember is a blue dress with stars on it. Pretty stopped on this case, Barney. Do you think if there were any clues left behind a signature... Do you know if there were any clues left behind a signature on the delivery slip or something? Uh, I didn't get them to sign them. Sign it. But I remember someone... Something dropping over at the entrance to the woods. I tried to call out and tell, tell them, but they'd stumbled off before I noticed. At the entrance to the woods, you say? I'll check it out. It is the wizard. I was saying it... I said it right at the beginning. I was pretty sure it was the wizard. Yeah, I think Lola's the new guy. Responsible driver. Had me on speaker. I should search near the Warlock Woods. Okay. Let's go do that. Glasses. This must be the thing Barney was talking about. Hmm, they're glasses. Oh, they have a name engraved on the arm. The Invisible Wizard. Well, this is my only clue left. I think I should try and return these to a wizard. She should be in the old house near Carlos's shop. Okay, yeah. So that's why she hasn't left the house. She's not had her glasses. She maybe rum went outside and ran into that decorations and stuff, and that's all. Then she hid because she was embarrassed. We did it. We solved the mystery. I mean, I literally said at the beginning, I was like, it's probably Lola, right? Uh Oh, they, she let me in. There's a lot of pies around. I want to see if there's anything hidden around here. <laughs> they made a maze out of boxes. That's kind of funny. Anything, anything fun? Anything? Oh, there's a broom. Hey, I remember you. You helped me in my last mystery. Thanks, broom. You're a good friend, broom. Okay, nothing. Oh, wait, a coat hanger? Huh. <laughs> Baby killer. Sorry. <laughs> Question mark. Oh boy. She went invisible. Is she just naked in front of me? That's kind of weird. This is cool. There she is. Okay, last one is probably gonna be in that last corner. Oh, it's over here. Is there nothing in that corner? This girl needs to stop fussing? Yeah, for real. Causing me so many issues right now. I'm just trying to talk, Lola. I'm just trying to have a conversation. Please. Oh gosh, a lot of pies. More brooms. She hasn't unpacked at all, man. How do you live like this, Lola? Just unpack. It's not that hard. Invisible wizard. Ah, who's there? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to startle you. I'm the detective. Oh, thank goodness. You're here to solve the mystery. Yes. Okay. Well, I don't know where my glasses are. So solve that as soon as possible, please. Thanks in advance. I found your glasses, I think. Are these yours? Ah, I can see again. That was so quick. You should get a promotion. I don't remember calling a detective to solve this mystery, but I must have done. Otherwise, why would you be here, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, no. I'm actually here to solve a different mystery. Which one? I don't mean to ruin the surprise, but the town was setting up a parade for you. I'm sorry to tell you that last night. Someone destroyed it. I've been trying to figure out why. However, I've noticed that your house is littered with the de decorations. Where were you last night? I was on Wizbay. I got some new shoes. I picked express delivery. They arrived last night. Oh, you're Lola. Yes. Back to my alibi. I went to pick up my shoes from the delivery guy. 
And then I dropped my glasses. Oh. And that's all I have to say about that. Are you sure? Yeah, I think someone else must have destroyed the parade. Perhaps one of my enemies. You have enemies? Um, yeah. Who? The guy. Evil guy. Sorry, what? Enemy. Evil guy. My enemy. Evil guy. Yeah, are you making this up? No, evil guy is really my enemy. Evil dude. Don't you mean evil guy? Evil guy. <laughs> Your enemy. Yes. <laughs> I- this isn't- I need my fidget spinner. <laughs> Um, where can I contact evil guy? Oh, he's not able to be contacted. He's very mysterious and not available right now. Or ever, even. Anyway, we must destroy the parade. Case solved, we did it. Well done. Wow, too bad he's not able to be apprehended, but at least we can continue with our lives. Lola, are you being dishonest? Yes. I'm really sorry, it was me. It was an accident, I swear. You destroyed the parade, didn't you? I didn't know the parade was for me. That's so nice. I ruined it. When I dropped my glasses, I couldn't find my way home. I was bumping into everything. What happened when you got home? I had some chips stuck to me, so I ate those, and then I just hid. Why didn't you tell anyone what happened? I'm so embarrassed about it. I only just moved in, and already I've made a big mistake. I'm a very shy lady detective. I make myself invisible so nobody can see me. That must have been why nobody saw you last night. Yes, I suppose. Can you become not invisible? Uninvisible? Visible? If you insist. Is he a chameleon? Ta-da! You're a frog like me. It's a frog? What the heck? Yes, I'm slightly disappointed. What? Well, it's just that I had a good joke prepared. I'll do it anyway. Okay, so imagine that instead of a frog, you're revealed to be a lizard. Oh no. Okay, so you've just been revealed, okay? Pretend. Okay, it's me, a lizard. Okay, wow, so you're not an invisible wizard anymore, after all. You're an invisible lizard! Huh, yeah, it was a good joke. I thought so. Detective, are you gonna tell everyone? Hmm, I'm brand new and it was a mistake. I'm worried that if you tell everyone what I did, they'll be upset. I think they'd forgive you right away. But what if they don't? I wanna make a good first impression. When we go outside, can you please tell them that I was evil guy? But it's a fib, a white lie perhaps. But who's it harming really? Evil guy, evil guy isn't real. This is a moral dilemma, Lola. Just like in my favorite episode of Heroid. It's your choice, detective. Let's face the music. How come this frog can wear hats? Well, I don't think it's the I, I don't think it's a problem of frogs not being able to wear hats. I think it's a problem of um this frog particularly who can't wear hats. That's why his head is weird, according to him. Shy lady, a frog just moved in, made a big mistake, lied about having a nemesis called Evil Guy, wants me to tell the whole town. It was evil guy. I think we should, right? There's really no issue here, I think, with telling people it was evil guy. The exposure in my camera is so fucked right now because it's so bright outside. Telling people it was evil guy might make them freak out. I don't know. Hello. Hi. My name is Lola. Hi, Lola. I'm a frog. Just like me. We're so glad you could make it, Lola. I'm sorry that there's been so much commotion trying to get the parade ready for you. Somebody destroyed it last night. Mary, don't tell her that. We're sorry that somebody destroyed it, Lola. The detective has been trying to figure out who did it. Well, detective, have you solved the mystery? I hope it wasn't me. I'd be surprised if it was any of us. I wouldn't. Looking at you, Ralph. What? Ralph didn't do it, Victor. How many times do we have to tell you that? I just don't trust that guy. Rude. I'm not rude anymore, Ralph. I had food. I don't think that's how it works. I didn't do it. Well, I guess we'll find out in a moment. Go ahead, detective. Can we get a... Let's do a quick poll in chat. You guys decide if we want to... Um, let's do... Who done it? Evil guy, Lola. I'll give you guys three minutes to decide. Go for it. You decide. I don't mind either way. Well, I really don't. <laughs> you guys can also use channel points to make your thing uh, go higher if you really feel that passionate about it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think we go evil guy because it just feels like 
more fair. Like, I don't know. Lola messed up, it's fine. But, um, you know. Oh, oh, are there two achievements? I'm looking at the achievements right now of, uh... Hang on. Oh, I have... Do I have to... Wait. Oh, okay, okay. There's one achievement for each one. So I'll have to do both at some point anyway. Uh... Oh, we all voted Lola? Okay. We're going Lola then. Are you gonna honor the poll? Obviously, yeah, yeah. I wasn't looking at chat for a sec. I was looking at some other stuff. <laughs> Um, don't scare the poor people with the evil guy. Okay, we'll do Lola. Lola did it. Uh, well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? It was Lola. What? It was an accident. Lola dropped her glasses last night while picking up some shoes she bought in Whiz Bay. Oh my gosh, those are the ones I really wanted. They look amazing. Lola can't see without her glasses, so she had a lot of trouble getting home last night. She bumped into just about everything. I'm so sorry, I feel awful. I realized what had happened when I had lots of chips stuck to me. I ate them, they were delicious. The parade was for me all along and I didn't realize. Lola was very scared of your reactions, so she hid in her house out of shame. Oh, Lola, it's okay. You should have told us, we completely understand. Yeah, Mary destroys stuff all the time. Yeah, I really do. Plus, Naughty tried to vacuum up, so I feel like the parade being destroyed is kind of fine. I thought she was a ghost. That's what they all say. <laughs> we're all really excited you're here, Lola. We don't need de decorations anyway. I really thought Ralph did it. Victor? Victor, apologize to Ralph. Ralph, I'm sorry I accused you. It's okay. I'm also sorry. I really didn't mean to destroy the parade, but I knew it would be wholesome. Yeah, that's fair. But I should have spoken up when I did. I'm a very nervous lady. Plus, what a terrible first impression. Not as bad as my first impression. What did you do? I ran over Mary by accident. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That was really painful. Ha. <laughs> should we get this party started? What do you think, Lola? Yes, please. Alright. Cute. Hell yeah. Lola won. Everyone voted Lola, that's crazy. I thought one of you would go against the grain, but I guess not. One of them's wearing the party hat on their nose, it's cute. Taken a quick look at the things I need to do for achievements. Okay, so we told the truth. Now to fib, we can do. Okay, you have to hit Shift L and Four to get to the secret uh, menu, and then we can we can lie real quick on on stream so you guys can see the other alternative en ending. That was cute. That was a good game. That was a good one. I love I love their humor and stuff. Nahi the dog is real in the credits. Yeah, yeah. He was real in the beginning too. Um Victor's so funny he is. <laughs> Alright, let's do this real quick. Say something, ring me up. Ring me up, go for it, there it is. Frog detective, how may I help you? Detective supervisor, it's me, the supervisor. I'm aware. Great job in solving the invisible wizard mystery. That was quite a head scratcher. Sure was. I was shocked that the culprit was the wizard herself. Yeah, the mysteries I solve are never what they seem. It's always a misunderstanding or an accident. Nobody's ever malicious on purpose in my mysteries. I'm so glad that crime isn't real. <laughs> Didn't you get extorted earlier? Yes, I think that's a crime. I suppose that crime is real after all. Your office is called Frog Detective Crime Solving Agency. Yes. Detective, why do you believe that crime isn't real? I was simply exaggerating. Plus, despite my job title, I've never, I never really seem to be solving crimes. That's gonna change in a moment, I think, Detective. Ooh, super duper. I just got a call about a doozy of a case, Detective. That sounds exciting. 
It is, but it's also the most challenging case I've ever sent you on. I'm confident in your abilities, but you might need backup on this one. Oh, like who? I'm gonna send Lobster Cop to help you with the case. Really? Lobster Cop handles such advanced cases, won't it just slow him down? Nonsense, Detective. You've shown you're a very capable mystery solver. I think you're in the running to be the new number one. You're making me blush. You'll be A-OK. -okay. So where am I headed next? I can't say over the phone, it's too sensitive. Wow. Head to the train station, I've left a ticket for you there. The train will take you to where you need to be. Good luck, Detective. Do you think you can handle it? I can handle anything. Nice! Crime isn't real. I love it. Alright, before we end the VOD, we're gonna real quick just, um... Do, uh, the last part. I mean, there's gonna be an after credits, of course there is. After the Detective is left. I'm gonna commit crimes until they're real. Oh, we have a real photo of Naughty, let's go. Did we leave our notebook behind? Oh no. Oh no, we got robbed. <laughs> All right, that was cool. We are gonna do the last part. Let's just, um, there's apparently like a secret. Oh my God, there's an after after credit scene. What are they doing to me? Is that a worm? Why is it so loud? Oh my gosh. Why is it so loud? I had to turn it down for you guys. It got way too loud over there. It's all being tied together, yeah. The detective will return in... Cowboy County. Corruption at Cowboy County, nice. Heck yeah, we did it. It's the same colors as the blobfish or whatever it is and the guy we saw on the island. The hand? Ooh. There's a little bit of a through thread throughout all of these. All right. So now, if I do Shift L4, ooh, we got a little mystery screen. Yes, it's an overarching mystery, and I'm here for it. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Oh, sick. This gives us a chance to uh, choose the other side. Let's just do that real quick. It's evil guy. Evil guy did it. This is just for the achievement, and so we can see what. Uh, they say, well, I solved the mystery. Who was it? It was evil guy. Who? Evil guy is Lola's nemesis. He's a very evil guy. Yeah, he snuck in last night and destroyed everything because he hates Lola. Yeah, unfortunately, because he's made of slime, he got away before I could apprehend him. Yeah, so unfortunate. However, Lola has since cast a very special spell that will make sure he never returns. Wow, evil guy sucks. Yeah, I'm so sorry you did that to you, Lola. It's okay. At least there's nobody here, right? Right. I'm sorry I couldn't catch Evil Guy, but now we know that Lola's safe and everyone is happy that she's here. Yeah, I'm sorry they caused such a big mess. Really irresponsible, if you ask me. I'm sure he feels really bad about it, and would want you to forgive him. Isn't he evil? Yeah, I thought he was evil. Oh, hey, Barney. Hi. <laughs> yeah, he's evil. Evil Guy. Well, case solves. Well done, Detective. Thanks. Should we get the parade started? We didn't have time to fix up the decorations. Sorry, Lola. I don't mind at all. I'm just happy to be here. Evil Guy's blobfish? Evil Guy isn't real. Let's party! Yay, okay. There we go. And that's the final part. Does it just... Oh, okay. We just say this, see the same thing. Well, we've done that. There's a development, yeah. There's an overarching mystery throughout the entire game so far. It's pretty interesting. 
Whew, I got my oxygen back. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna add a yawn counter that you guys can, um, <laughs> that you guys can keep a track of how many times I yawn during streams, because, or just throughout all my streams in general. But that's about it for this VOD. So VOD archive, I'm gonna send you off on your way. Goodbye, thank you for watching. The creature you saw is the same colors as the creature we saw around the corner of the island, and a cloud hand from with the same colors just stole the detective's notebook. Yep. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching, VOD. I will, uh, I will see you in the next one. It'll be uploaded 24 hours after this one. So, or you can go watch part one if you haven't already. That's about it.